I promised y'all green. We're gonna do green. Ooh, this was not planned. <laughs> it's meant to be. Okay, this is gonna be fun once I get my makeup done, but right now it's it's a work hazard. <laughs> Spin this out of the way. If y'all actually always ask me about these clips, I got them on Revolve and they are MEJ. I'll tag them. I really like them. They're a little little bit more spicy price, and I'm sure you can get just plain ones like this on Amazon, but I don't I don't know why. I, I like them and, and they make me feel all cute and spicy while I'm getting ready. So in case you want to feel cute and spicy, I'll tag them for you. Now this is a big tip, but we're not even going to be applying anything. What in the angler fish is happening right now? What is what is what is happening? Am I under the sea searching for my dinner? No, no. I'm being sabotaged. You get in there. Okay, as I was saying. <laughs> so I've already done my skincare, my skin prep. Everything is on. In fact, you know what? I actually want to put a little bit of my Elemis stuff on. I'm just gonna, I don't know where my skin, I think my skincare brushes are on my other vanity, but I actually put a really thick layer and I kind of use it as a mask. Since I got back from New York, my skin has just been a little bit flared up. So I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks and it'll kind of help cool them down. And then I'll just press whatever's left on my chest. It actually helps with the redness on my chest too. Okay, so we're not working anywhere on the face right now, so it can be that big thick layer and we'll press it in way later, but I use this as a mask. That's all beside the point, but kind of not. So I've already done my eye cream. I know I'm not gonna do a super heavy eye. I'm not gonna have fallout. Eye cream is already there. Eye cream is on my lids. So what I need to do, because we're gonna do this cream shadow first, we don't want a base on there, and we certainly do not want any type of eye cream to be bunched up in our socket, which is what naturally happens from the from the warmth of our bodies. So let's press that in. And if you have oily lids, what I want you to do is take a fluffy brush with a little, do you notice how you can barely see the product on there? That's what we want. But just put that in the socket or any areas that tend to get a little bit more oily. That way, we're gonna have a really nice canvas that will last for this cream shadow. Ooh, this color. So this one's from Merit Beauty. I love the blue one too. Really, I love all of them, um, but I was excited to use this one. I believe it's called Viper. It sure is. I'll get you a link for it. So no base underneath these. And I'm using the C31 because I want a more intense lay down of that color. So I'm gonna, I'll, let me demo it for you because I love you so much. So this is going to give us obviously more pigment. It's going to pack that on. It's going to smooth it out. It'll dry evenly, but we're going to get a lot more saturation when that brush is very dense. But we can also, which I'll show you in a second, I do want to wash this in a second, but for right now I'll show you on my cheek. So the fluffier the brush, the lighter the coverage. See this difference? Even if we pack with this, it's still a fluffy brush and it's not able to kind of concentrate the color the way a more, the way a more fluffy, or sorry, the way I was saying, this one isn't able to concentrate quite like the density of this one. So this one would kind of buff and diffuse. Um, this one packs it on, gives us that punchy color. That's helpful. Now let me give you another tip, of course. So what we're gonna do now is since I've been chatting with you, this area right here isn't dry yet. So I can continue to build up there, but the area cl area closer to my lash line is dry. So if I am layering this shadow on top of already dried cream, we're not set there, so we're good. It usually sets faster on the lid, but if I'm layering that on top of an already dried cream shadow, I'm running the risk of patchiness and then it not wearing the same. And I feel like a lot of times that's the main thing that's going wrong, but it's the easiest thing. Once we know it, it's so easy. Now, remember how we were talking about the E29? I call this my inner rush brush. We can take this and even if we tap, it's still gonna diffuse it because of the bristle density. It's just, it's a looser packed brush. 
And we're just gonna press to transition that. Like I said, I'm gonna use some other colors on here, but we're gonna start with this as a base. And we're still gonna keep it green, but I think it'd be fun to add a little bit more of a darker green to the socket. Now listen, don't want you to forget that we have these sets. There's the one I'm using, the fluffy one I'm using up there. Um, and then look, the C42 and the C31. So the one that I'm packing on is a concealer brush and you can use it for your eyes, eye base, eyeshadow. And then that C42, and we all know that C42 is C42. And so I just wanted to remind y'all about the holiday sets. These are slept on, okay? They're totally slept on. This entire bite size elf situation, this one is hot jalapeno. Yeah, um, it's a 10 out of a 10, would recommend, do recommend, I'm recommending. So I'm gonna grab this shade and I'm just gonna start to push that into the socket. Oof, so nice. I'm not gonna put it on the lid. We'll leave the lid the same color, but let's push that onto there. And then a little bit out. And I also want to remind you that I grabbed that color on the tip of the brush, just the tip of the brush. And we'll transition a little bit more. Now grab this shade on the tip of the brush, very small amount. We're gonna take that and we're just gonna start to ever so lightly blur and transition. Just so it has a little bit of glow around the edges. See that come into life? So fun. That color matched so perfectly, this one. Mm, 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 mm. Now we're gonna grab our favorite powder foundation. This one's my favorite, um, Laura Geller. It's my jam, jam, jam. I'm gonna start on the brow bone and then I'm gonna take it and melt it over this way and that'll just kind of blur everything together. Nice. I feel like we've been doing a smoky look. I'm kind of blown out eyeshadow. I feel like we've done a, quite a few, so let's sharpen this up. Let's grab this Melt Cosmetics Rich Brown Liner. I love these. And we're just gonna apply it to my iris, towards the iris. And then I'm just gonna do a little circle there. Notice I already have this one done. When we're dealing with liners like this one, a gel one that's gonna dry and set, we wanna work in sections. And I'm just smudging this with the side of an E27. You can even turn to the side look how pretty this color is with the green. Perfect. So I'm gonna put on my lashes and then I'm gonna hop off and film with this. And the reason why is I feel like this is kind of going, because a lot of people have asked my opinion on it recently. Um, and I reviewed it when it first came out last September, I wanna say. Um, I did screenshot my old video because I even did a wear test between House Labs and this one, and you'll see it in the video. But let's kind of see, because I don't reach for it a lot. Um, let's revisit it. Sometimes it's fun to revisit a foundation, really any makeup product. Okay, so we're doing Libre Lashes Style number three. I'm double checking that, yep. I just ordered more of these too. Mainly, they were, they, it's not that they fell apart, no, no, no. I lost them. So more are on the way. So second order placed. Okay, let me hop off and go film this and I will be back. Okay, so the shade that I have, I, I decided not to film it because the shade I have is not working, even though I, I remember wearing it um, when I was this shade. It's light four and it looks pretty good, right? But then it starts to instantly, okay, you can see it there. It just starts to instantly oxidize. Now, I don't know if I've had this or if it's expired. I don't feel like I've had it that long. I don't know, because I know I've bought new ones since then. So I'll just go get a lighter shade. Mm, I don't know. Where's my cover effects? Okay. Yeah, that's better. Cover effects? I love this one. Okay, let's work that in with our C42. Even the way that this just lays down on the face, it's... There's some foundations that are just easy to put on. It's just easy. You don't even have to think about it, and it's this one, this cover effects power play. Let's start to build a little bit more there. Oh, so much better. Oh, I'm gonna use my Tower 28 concealer again. I really, really liked it the other day. Formula is a 10 out of a 10. And I think we'll just go a little bit heavier in the center. Apparently, 
there's a ruckus beneath me. All right, let's work this in. That's Julia over there. She was, she's, we're all obsessed with Jean. She literally was just like, oh, Jean, we're just, it's a big Jean house around here. We live and breathe for Jean. Now, I went in a little peachier with that concealer, but if that is a little bit too warm, the pink powder is gonna go in there and adjust that and go, listen, we need to brighten that back up but also set. So what I mean by that is I went a little peachier because it's gonna be a little bit easier because this darkness brings out the darkness underneath my eyes. It even brings out things that might not be there. It's one of the reasons we don't like darker tones on our eyes at first. Um, so I went in with that peachier concealer and now this pink will help balance if it was too warm and we'll just get a nice brightened effect. I wanna try out this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. It's so big. Um, I don't remember disliking it, but I don't remember it just blowing me away. But let's try it out. Seems pretty natural and buildable. I, like, I already like that. Yeah, it's blending nicely. It looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna run out and say it's my absolute favorite, but it's it's doing some nice things. Look how pretty that is under there. We're gonna go back into our cream, start to stamp that underneath here. And we do not even have to think twice about fallout. Isn't that wonderful? I love that for us. Okay, so I depotted all of this. Um, it's from P. Louise. It's, I, let me get the name of it. I'm not sure if I can get the link. I tried to get it a second ago and it wouldn't work because I think it's UK. But I've actually ordered, many years ago I ordered things from the website and of course I'm in America and it worked out perfectly but I'm not sure why the link isn't working but I'll type out the name and this is the shade we're using right here and if you're wondering maybe they all look the same they don't because they each have a different little imprint so in case you're wondering which one I'm using from the palette it's this one now captions aren't working in case you're wondering why I stopped it's not working it's just happening today. <laughs> so let's use another one of these lip tonics. Ooh, I love these. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit. And there's a little bit of a trick to these kind of very extremely shimmery situations. You don't wanna overwork them. I'm gonna use this NYX lip liner. This is the shade Nude Truffle. But I also wanna use the glide of that gloss to my advantage because I'm gonna be able to get a really nice lip line and get some really nice definition. And then what we'll do is we'll just add more gloss once we get this the way that we want it. So we don't wanna overwork that sparkle because it'll become dull and we'll lose all of that luster. This is stunning. Where were these hiding? I'm so glad we found them. The lips really pulled this together. Okay, that's gonna be it for today. I'm going to take this off now and go film some more things. I'm kind of excited. I love you all so much. I don't know what I'm posting tonight, but I'm definitely gonna be posting and fighting with my hair until then. <laughs> I love you all so much.